Hi everyone, it is Shannon from the Walworth Seeley Public Library and I am here today for an activity. We are going to be making ice cream in a bag. So we're going to be making some homemade ice cream today. I am super excited for this activity, so let's jump in. The materials that you are going to need for this activity is rock salt. Here's the rock salt that I have. Heavy whipping cream. So you can use half and half or heavy whipping cream. This just happens to be what I have at my house, um, but the recipe does actually call for half and half. So either or will work just fine. Also need vanilla and some sugar. And then you also need some ice. And then you will need one gallon sized bag and one sandwich sized bag. And then also some oven mitts or gloves or a towel to wrap around your bag because the ice and salt mixture is going to get very cold um, and you don't want to touch it with your bare hands. So have some sort of protection for your hands. So I've washed my hands, so let's go ahead and get started with our recipe. All right, first I'm going to make our ice cream mixture. So I'm going to start with my heavy whipping cream. And I have my sandwich sized bag. And I have measured out one half cup of heavy whipping cream. Okay, next we will need one tablespoon of sugar. And then lastly, we need one fourth of a teaspoon of vanilla. All right, so now I'm going to close my bag. Make sure it's sealed very tight. And then we're just going to mix up our ingredients a little bit. All right, I'm going to set that bag aside and grab our gallon sized bag. All right, so we need three cups of ice. Here's my first cup. And then I have a big chunk that I'm just going to crush up real quick. All right, so I have my three cups of ice and then we are going to add one third cup of rock salt. So here's my ice and my salt mixture. We are now going to put our sealed mixture for our ice cream inside the large bag. And then seal up our big bag. And now we have to shake this for roughly 10 to 15 minutes and hopefully we'll have ice cream. I will see you soon. And make sure that you have your protection for your hands. I'm going to be using oven mitts. All right, and I'll see you soon. While we shake our ice cream, let's talk about the science happening to this mixture. Our ice cream begins as a liquid. A liquid does not have a fixed shape, but it does have a definite volume. And then once it's frozen, our ice cream changes its state and is a solid. A salad has both a fixed volume and shape. Its state of matter relies on the temperature surrounding it. Which brings me to the ice and salt surrounding the ice cream mixture. The temperature surrounding the ice cream needs to be very cold in order for it to freeze. Water freezes at 32 degrees Fahrenheit, but ice cream freezes at a little bit lower temperature than water due to its ingredients. Therefore, straight ice won't allow the cream, the ice cream, to get cold enough to freeze. That's why we add salt. Salt lowers the freezing point of water and this allows the temperature of the mixture around the ice cream to get cold enough for it to freeze. All right, it has been 15 minutes. Let's take a look at our ice cream. Ooh, it's very cold. I'm gonna go ahead and rinse this off real quick just to get the salt water off. 
All right. Also grabbed a spoon so that we can taste our ice cream. Definitely looks like ice cream. That's good. I'll show you what this looks like. All right. So that's how you make ice cream at home. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys are able to make some delicious ice cream at home. I thoroughly enjoyed this activity and I hope you do too. And we'll see you again soon. Bye.